Can the tree of life help us learn from history's events so we don't repeat them? All right, that is today's question. This is number 30 on our list of the 144 fractal faculties of the tree of life. Uh, if you'd like to get a list of all 144 of those as a guide uh, to help you along as we go through these videos, just click the link in the description and I'll send that out to you right away. Um, also, if you, uh, these are the um, 144 fractal faculties of the tree of life. And if you need a quick introduction to the tree of life, just watch my video, a tree of life, a short introduction and then come back and you can watch these videos through. Uh, you probably can make it anyway, but uh, there's that resource for you. Uh, now, I'm Thomas and welcome to my channel. Um, I do educational videos, but we're starting off with the Tree of Life. Um, not only because the Tree of Life is very good in terms of um, educational uh, resource, but also that it is a uh, it is a structure so that other kinds of uh, other subjects that you learn uh, become easier because you have like a foundation to put them in. So you can recall them, you can access them, you can understand them, you can compare and contrast them and so on in a much easier uh, format, easier way. And so the Tree of Life is really going to be the foundation for all the subjects that we teach on this, uh, on this channel. And so we're starting out with 144 short videos on uh, different aspects of the tree. We're at number 30, and uh, number 30 corresponds to the eighth sphere. Okay, so we're in the eighth sphere, uh, and you re may remember that eighth sphere is about the consensus worldview. Now, each one of the uh, you know, spheres on the tree has to do with a different faculty of consciousness. Uh, our faculties of consciousness here at the A sphere are really our logical thinking process, concrete logic, where we are uh, separating things out into their, into their parts, categorizing them, and then also our belief systems, uh, and they come from this A sphere where we, uh, this is the A sphere is a sphere of the powers that be, the establishment, the uh, conventional wisdom, uh, the institutions, and uh, they kind of they tell us what we're supposed to believe, and uh, they tell us how we're supposed to behave. Uh, unfortunately, the A sphere is also the realm of the trickster. So they're not always telling us the truth about these things and just really what is convenient for them. So, uh, and the A sphere also holds the key to the resources and really the status in our society. So uh, in order to have those things, we have to negotiate with the A sphere to a certain extent. Now, uh, the fractal here is what we do when we take the whole tree, all 12 components of the tree, we shrink it down and we apply it to just one of the spheres. So that's where we get the 144. 12 times 12 is 144. So we break down the A sphere into 12, its 12 component parts. And that's how we separate the A sphere into its 12 parts. And um, so for this one, number 30, we're talking about the fifth sphere within the A sphere. And the fifth sphere, if you recall, is about our sense of justice, our sense of fairness. Uh, it's the uh, enforcement of the law, our karma. It's the judgment. Um, and so those are the factors that are involved here. The powers that be and the conventional wisdom, uh, the expert opinion. And then you combine that with uh, within that we have our um, judgment our sense of fairness and, um, you know, the uh, karma, the uh, what comes around goes around, cause and effect. Okay, so those are the two aspects that are playing a part here with number 30, which is called, uh, whose bad night was it? 
Stage number 30 is about how the powers that be use agents who present themselves as experts to undermine our creative resources and outlets. So, I read in the review that I had a bad night. But pretty please tell me true exactly whose bad night was it anyway? Who do you think you are publishing criticisms of honesty? Honestly, criticisms of my creativity? Making me a contestant against my will in a competition where the judge doesn't know the criteria or even care? Is that fair? Telling stories in song like griots and bards. I speak the truth instead of canards. Bird songs emerging from the reeds through my heart. I play my saxophones hard, distilling the influence of yard, while preserving my own calling card, deep with feeling, square in the tradition, and he dubs it avant-garde? A fancy French facade for faux expertise? For my folk ways he has no regard. Claims the music flayed his nervous system to shards? Or was he drinking enough brandy for two St. Bernards? The music is too sobering. So my chord progressions he seeks to retard. Too much music coming too fast and he is hoisted with his own petard. Fight back with fake news the arbitrary arbiter is the true blowhard. For social control, the critic's desires are projected onto a culture with entirely different standards. Sleek, glossy, comfy and cozy criteria protect, projected onto an adventurous creative resource. Because he's got a deadline. He's got to write something. Look at him now, leering at me from the crowd, while refusing to participate, refusing to expose himself to the music. Gaze condemningly, glare condescendingly, and leave before we even finish, indignantly offended, complete with histrionics. To type up a column full of style pointers and etiquette lessons, direct from the one with the bad manners. The powers that be's attempt to invade and take over the venue before it can affect the status quo, the paradigm, too much. The critic's criteria is how to continue a cushy career and a cover for custodians of the cabal cult. An unqualified expert used to control us. Good thing I'm not seeking his approval. I diss his criticism. I dismiss his criticism. I piss on his column of egocentric witticisms. I distrust it as complicit, arrogant, and self-serving missives that swung and missed. But look, I listen. If it's one in our biz, in our field, who knows the criteria by heart, not by the book, and is too aware of the risks I took to call me a charlatan. But the arbitrary arbiter, who do you think you are? psychoanalyzing me in your notepad. I'm only an it. I'm only an, uh, an other to you. You say I had a bad night, but really, whose bad night was it anyway? I, write, I rock the boat. You make me build an ark to save myself. But I must remember that you're only all over me if I'm, on, if I'm all over the target. 
Jazz critics evidenced white on black crime right there in the black and white of the entertainment section or the jazz rag. But that was then back in the 20th century. Watch out because history's events don't repeat but rhyme. So the rules might be reversed next time in century 21. Hint, hint. Okay, that is the fifth fractal of the eighth sphere. Whose bad night was it? And uh, that is number 30 on the list of the 144 fractal faculties. So thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Please press the like button. Uh, you can uh, share the video with others, subscribe to the channel, make constructive comments in the comment section. And again, click the link below, uh, click the link in the description if you'd like to get the, uh, my free guide to the 144 fractal faculties, which you can use as a scorecard or a, you know, a program to help you with um, kind of organizing your thoughts around all these videos. And also, you can uh, click the link in the description if you'd like to donate through Venmo or Cash App. Those addresses are listed in the description. I will be uh, coming out with uh, number 31 on this list here coming up very soon within the next day. And um, please stay tuned for that. And otherwise, please have a great day.